Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Liz and thank you for coming to my channel and watching this video today with me. And if you aren't subscribed already, then you can just subscribe right over there if you are on a desktop. And if you are on a mobile device, then why don't you just click that button down below. And if you're already subscribed and you already visited my channel before, thanks so much for coming back. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. In today's video, I am combining two things that I love very, very much. I really, really, really love the life hacks because who doesn't love life hacks? I mean, there's so many things out there that you didn't know that could help you in daily life, in your daily routine and everything. So I decided to combine beauty and life hacks together and put them into one video. So I found some amazing life hacks for you guys and why don't we get started? So the first life hack is for you to put your perfume in certain areas of your body so that it will last longer throughout the day. Um, I normally place my perfume on my wrist right here in this area or I put it right here on my neck um, and that usually allows it to last longer in the day. But I found this life hack which tells you to put it more in the creases of your body so you want to put it on your wrist in that area that I told you on your neck in the crease of your elbow right here in the crease in the back of your leg down your back and in your belly button area which I've never thought about putting it in your belly button area before that is a first for me but that is the first life hack and why don't you try those places and comment down below tell me tell me if it worked for you okay this next life life too fast here yeah. 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 Okay, this next life hack is really awesome because if you get really puffy in the morning, like your face kind of looks a little bit swollen, then sleep propped up on two pillows or just like fold one pillow in half and prop your head up because then it'll allow the fluid in your body to drain downwards and then you won't be puffy anymore because you're not lying flat on your bed. This next life hack is pretty awesome because if you wear lip gloss a lot, but some of them are like way too glossy for you, you can make them look like a matte if you apply a bit of cornstarch to your lips. Now this next life hack um, I've known about for years and years now because my mom used to tell me this all the time as a kid. If you have really dry feet or I know every now and then we all get those cracked areas on the bottom of our feet but you don't want to spend the money to go get a pedicure so they can scrub your feet for you all you have to do is apply some peppermint moisturizer to the bottom of your heel or on your foot or Vaseline to your foot and either put on a really fuzzy sock so that it doesn't like scrape on your foot or put ceram wrap around your foot and then put on socks and in the morning your feet should be nice and smooth again. Now this next life pack I learned about a while ago and it is really good for people with natural hair because your hair does tend to latch on to things easier when it is natural especially if you have drier hair but it is really great for anyone to use. Whenever you get out of the shower if you don't use microfiber um, bathing towels then use a t-shirt to dry off your hair and I highly recommend using a microfiber t-shirt if not just a softer like sweater because it will absorb the water from your hair and it will allow it to air dry faster than a towel would if you're not using microfiber towels and it's healthier for your hair because you don't have as much breakage to your hair Whenever you're running late and you don't have time to do anything to your hair or like put the oils or grease or whatever you use for your daily styling, just apply some dry shampoo to your hair and it'll give it that great shine and luster that you so desire. If any of you guys are having a lazy day and you just don't feel like getting up in time to do your hair before you start your day, then why don't you just put your hair up in a turban 
like so and then you will be able to wear your hair in a really cute style without actually styling your hair if you tend to use bobby pins quite often then i hope you're using them the correct way when you use a bobby pin if you have the ridges upward then your hair isn't going to grab onto the bobby pins and they might slip or fall out of place but if you use them with the ridges downward then your bobby pins should stay in place longer than the other way if you're someone like me and you have really bad puffiness in the under eye area then when you make green tea the next time keep the green tea bags and let them get cold when they get cold just put them under your eyes for about five to six minutes and that should reduce the puffiness under your eyes if you have tons of perfumes and you're like obsessed with victoria's secret or bath and body works or just any perfume in general then why not display them very nicely on a cake stand instead of just having them all over your dresser or your vanity Put them up on a cake stand and that will make your room look a tad bit better than it was before. Last but not least, I have this life hack for you. If you haven't heard it already from anywhere on social media or on the internet, I have heard this probably about 20 times on different YouTube videos. Just apply some Vaseline to any area where you're going to put your perfume on your body and it should help last longer. So along with that other life hack that I gave you guys earlier about perfume, your perfume should be lasting all day long. Thanks guys for watching this video. Again, I hope you liked it. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, then as I said before, you can always subscribe right over there in the top right corner or down below right under this video. Why don't you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it or if you want more videos like this. And if you want to tell me something, then leave a comment down below because I read every single comment that any person leaves down below. And thank you so much for watching. If you aren't following me on any of my social media, then I will put that somewhere on the screen. And it's always down below in the description box. And in case you guys didn't know, I do have a vlog channel. It's called Adventures with Liz. And I currently have two vlogs up. Check out my last vlog, Mother's Day Special. It is a treat. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys. See you in my next video.